Hi, welcome to my off-grid power wall build. Today I'm going to start out with a, a brand new pack of 18650s. It's a 48 volt, 1000 watt. It's a 14S, 10P. And uh, we're going to finally start uh, putting some brand new batteries on our power wall. But uh, I just purchased this this uh, pulse spot welder soldering machine, and uh, I'm going to start here with these um, old batteries that I took out of that I harvested from laptops, and I'm going to do a test run on these to see where I want to put my settings to make sure I get a good connection on this pack. That seven's got a good, uh, good tack on it. So, here, let me show you. See, I can move this all the way around, just about. There, that seven's got a good tack. Because that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that these have uh, all got a good tack on them. I'm not, oops, I'm not tacking these but once because uh, I like to do a resurface on these by taking and taking them apart. This is one of the packs that I had on there. These are all laptop batteries. These are new ones here, but uh, I took one down and I refurbished it to uh, refresh the batteries. And this is all I've got left out of a pack because uh, on the positive side it all drained it took most of the top and wore the top down versus the bottom so these are all pretty much the bottom batteries out of that pack but um, I'm gonna rebuild this one along with the uh, other two that I have up there and these are just going to be temporary our replacements for when I want to do a service on these or check them or do a maintenance uh, balancing on them, which I'm also going to install install a BMS board with this today, along with this uh, 50 amp 8 gauge wire. But uh, let's go back here to this seven. We'll see how this does. Let's do a yeah. We'll go back to seven. Let's pull it out of this thing and see how well it. And they pull out, and that's what I wanted to see is how well it was going to pull. Well, that one didn't, that didn't come out by itself, and uh, that's what I wanted to see is how if these are going to pull these ends out, because that's the thing about. Uh, and they didn't, so that's, but they were good, and I had to really tug on them. So, with that, we are going to get started on this build. So this is my positive right here, and this is my negative end. I labeled these, well, I just pulled the top off it. I like to be able to replace batteries. That's what I like about these packs. Is that if I do it myself, I can uh, I can replace all of these myself and go through and see if there's any dead ones or because sometimes they don't last as well as you would think they would. So just having the knowledge to be able to do it myself is uh, is worth it. But uh, right there, I have a positive and a negative right there. I label them so that uh, I know what side I'm on. But for right now, we're going to start with this line. I've already pre-cut a bunch of these. And we're going to start right there. I hit it twice just to make sure. 
I'm making sure I really push down on these. Oh, Pulling on pretty good to test the strength of the weld because I probably I don't have it up but 4p at uh, seven I could probably turn it up a little bit more even but uh, now I'll start lacing these these two together these two these two these two these two and these two like I said these are going to be my uh, my positive which I'll run like this up to there and then to uh, I'll have it in the next frame but it'll be nice big connectors I thought I brought them over here with me but I'll show you in the next frame all right I'm back so um, I took and I finished this off with uh, my crossbars so now these two rows are connected these two rows these two rows so on and so forth here's my positive end and here's my negative that I'm going to be connecting these two so uh, I wanted to show you but I had to kill the battery just cut a bunch of these little connectors up in between there and so while I was off camera I turned around and just connected them so I'm going to go off camera here and do some experimenting and uh, I'll come back with the results of what I'm trying to do because uh, what I have to do here is put this on here and then run that all the way across there but I want to connect this and this is the, this 8 gauge is going to be the most difficult to work with because I could solder it right to the tabbing wire which I might end up having to do that but I thought I could wrap it around the end and then hit it a couple times with the arc welder, which would be really nice. But it looks like I'm going to have to solder it anyways. So because I got to put solder on it, so get the solder out. All right, dog. Uh, I'll do this and then I'll get right back with you. And uh, let you see how it turned out. Alrighty, we made her back here finally. And uh, these are the connections I was talking about. Uh, pretty heavy duty. But uh, I've got uh, both sides soldered up. 24 amps coming out of both ends. Uh, 40 or uh, 49 volts because some of these I didn't take right up to um, 3.7 volts some of them were a little less some of them I just left alone especially the ones that uh, I uh, I just bought there was a hundred cells that uh, when I checked them they were like 3.5s so that's why I'm getting such a low voltage right now but as soon as I uh, put this BMS board on there and hook her up um, I, it should come back up to uh, 52 volts. Um, my, yeah, 52 volts. Nominal and uh, 48 volts. So yeah, it's uh, all together. This machine turned out to be pretty good. I got my soldering iron out here, so I got to do some soldering with it which works perfect which works great 
and this thing worked fantastic. Uh, I was thinking about just doing a single tap with it, but uh, I ended up going with a, a double tap. So to, just to make sure that, because I was pulling on them and they were popping up, so uh, make sure that uh, that double tap just make sure that they're secure. So uh, I'll get this installed and uh, next video. These uh, these eight gauge here. What I did is I extended the the tabbing wire out just a little bit further and I rolled it around there. I soldered up the ends and I run a solder a line of solder on the inside and then I soldered up this edge right here. So on on all four of them so they're all soldered pretty good. But uh, stay tuned if you want to see more I'll be hooking this up to, in the next video and uh, we'll be taking another one down and I'll break it down and uh, refresh all the batteries and these uh, old 18650s I'm going to keep using them I'm going to set them up just like this um, and put a BMS board on it but uh, yeah I think I can still get some more out of these I'm going to check the check the um, it's a quick check and what it does is it checks the resistance of it and a lot of these are 40 resistance there's a couple hundred and I think that's how many times they've been drained down I, I can't really tell but um, these are all really good these ones are right around uh, 200 or 300 these old ones when I first got them when I first checked their quick uh, their resistance but uh, yeah, those were a little bit different. Those were a little bit older, and that's why I'm not surprised that some of them didn't come back and and uh, half my pack because, well, what I did is uh, I put all the the low resistant ones down here at the on the positive side and the higher resistant ones up on the top, so that uh, they're probably because uh, most of the energy pulled from the positive, I believe. So that's the only way I can explain that the top of the pack was all dead and the bottom was still fairly good. They came back pretty good. Uh, like this is a 20, 2194. It was 2194. Now it's an 18. So if that gives you any idea of how much um, it, it uh, drawed down about. Well, one whole amp maybe, just about. So anyways, if you want to see more, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and that like button and uh, we'll give you some more videos of the off-grid power wall. And uh, I really like building these myself. I get more power out of them. Uh, I was just comparing this to... Um, the Battleborns that they've got, those new Battleborns that they've got, they come out and those are way more expensive than this pack. This pack was 500, but if I put four of them together, it's 100 amp hour. So you got um, almost uh, 2,000, but then Battleborn 12 volts, 100 amp is $1,500. So you're still making out, you're getting three times the power out of this compared to those 12 volts if you put four of these together. So, all right, thanks. Stay tuned.